Look at that Santa Claus back there. It looks like he had a little bit too much eggnog. Well, we are here in Frederick today at the new Goodwill. I don't know how much, how much longer I'm going to be able to call it the new Goodwill because the newness is going to wear off. But we are at the Goodwill on the Monocacy Boulevard. Um, and it's been open now for about a month probably less but we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit here we go oh my goodness we've got the whole gang here little baby jesus is even creeping so what do we have 60 70 80 80 dollars for all of them so i'm checking out here on ebay i spelt mary wrong <laughs> Um, but it auto-corrected for me. Yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. I stuck them in here because I'm like, you know, on the chance that they are. But they don't even have their lights with them, so. I mean, if I was buying them for myself, maybe. But, I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on that. This, on the other hand, I'm kind of digging. I like... Carpet Santa. <laughs> He's neat. Okay, so one of my reseller friends told me that a lot of the stuff here is pretty much the same as it has been. They haven't really been putting a whole lot of new stuff out, so that's kind of disappointing. Railroad Depot. This is um, $17.50. That would be like an Andrew thing. He would probably know about that. Google views. Hmm. Little Macasa crystal. Oh my goodness. Will you look at that? That is anthropology, but it's got damage now. <laughs> pretty sure it's anthropology. Am I crazy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's anthropology with that applied giant flower on it. And these actually have a, a fairly decent resale value. Now, with the damage, I, I'm not going to grab it. Um, without the damage, very much worth picking up. That looks like somebody's birthday plate. This is a crazy thing. What is this? This is a hund something something. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'll butcher it. That kitty cat is adorable. And those prints are really neat. I like those prints. Let's see if we can slide that artwork over. $7.50. Definitely vintage. And they are complimentary. I'll take the prints. Get in my cart. There you go. That's an interesting artwork. Oh, it's signed. Carol Pennock. It's very calming. Although it does kind of look like fire. There's a Southwest artwork. That one has no signature on it. I'm surprised they didn't sign that. I mean, it's not terrible. I would have signed that if it was my artwork. That is fantastic. <laughs> what is that? Is that B I T C H? Is that somebody's name? I think it is. I think that's somebody's name. I'm not going to say it out loud because I'm afraid it'll get me demonetized, but I'm, I don't think that's Butch. I'm just going to buy it for the sake of the artist's name. Let's take a peek at this down here. I feel like I've seen this before. I have. It's made in China. There's a cased glass vase. This one gives me made in China vibes. $2.50 on that. That's kind of pretty in the back. It's pretty, but... At home, $19.99, Tracy Boyd, not for food use. 
Don't put your spaghetti in that. What is that? Is that a photograph? It is a photograph. I thought it was a painting. It's a nice photograph. I like it. It's very worn. Great American Picture Company. Boston Mass. It makes sense that it would be Boston Mass. It's very beat up. That's a shame. They've got some nice artwork in here. I like that one too. Rousseau. Might be why I like it. Well, aren't you pretty? $2.50. Four glasses and a pitcher. Probably made in China or Mexico. $5.50 for the pitcher, $2.50 each for the glasses. So we're looking at $15.50. Hmm. I think you probably get at least $45 bucks for the set. Yeah, I'll take it. They have some fun decorative candles. <laughs> I cannot get enough of these decorative candles and it's really kind of silly. They're so silly. I don't know why. I just like, I'm obsessed with them. Look at this one. I'm going to buy this for myself. We're actually having um, my in-laws, well, my... It's complicated. My former in-laws over, um, my former step-in-laws over for Halloween, like a Halloween party this weekend. We're still really close with them. And, um, I think I'm going to decorate with this candle. Those are melamine. But I love the sea turtle on those. Wow, that's worn out. $3.50. Spice of life in the back. Those have some age, it looks like. They've also been through the dishwasher. It's a little clunky. Here are all the poor little misfit um, salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> The side eye duck is still here. There's now a grand piano. A deer. It's funny because most of them like that are interesting are mismatched. And the rest are like a hillbilly and his uh, hound dog. And some crabs. It's a nice uh, kitchen utensil holder. Kitchen tools. That one is $5.50. I'm going to pass on it though. I've, I've bought quite a bit of stuff today and I'm trying to regulate what I'm bringing in because I want to, I'm trying to be realistic with myself and what I can handle. So, um, I'm one person listing it all and I know a lot of you are in the same boat, so you get it. Ooh, my glasses are jumping around in there. Stop jumping, please. That's kind of cool. That is um, wood inlay. 17. This is a by um, bicentennial. Tricent tricentennial. What am I thinking? No, bicentennial. <laughs> what they find? Oh goodness, John Grosinger, Bronx, New York. Very cool. Six dollars and forty-nine cents. Andrew used to sell a lot of the bicentennial stuff out of his booth. I don't know, I think we're coming up on our 250th anniversary, right? Soon? Um, I'll grab it for Andrew. He can decide whether or not he wants to sell it. Last time I was here, I lucked out in the baggies. So I'm just going to poke here for a minute. I'm not really seeing a whole lot though. Those look like bone china. What are those marked? They're just marked Bone China. Bed Bath and Beyond. Wow. They look like they've got old stickers on there though. And there's a broken bunny rabbit in that one. Okay, 
Well, not much in the baggies this week. There is an interesting vase. I usually don't come down to this end, but that vase is a little bit interesting, so it's worth tipping over and checking out the bottom. <laughs> $9.99. Brings us to the lamps. And there's a NASCAR lamp. There's a little tulip style lamp. Okay, I really want to get over to the Christmas, but there's so many people hanging out in the Christmas section that it's really hard to get over there. Look at that Santa Claus back there. It looks like he had a little bit too much eggnog. Made it in Taiwan. What is this one in the back? That is a Radco, right? Christopher Radco. Sweet. $3.50 on that. Christopher Radco ornaments can be worth quite a bit of money, so I think I'm going to stick that in my bag. Do we see any others? No, we don't. I see a vintage looking horsey in the back. Or is he just made to look vintage? I think he's made to look vintage. Here is a nice nativity set that is made in Italy. I thought maybe it was a resin set, but I think it is actually um, made of chocolate. And unfortunately, it's been banged around a little bit too much, and there is quite a bit of chipping on there. So I'm going to have to stick this one back on the hook there. These guys look very neat. What are those? Oh, they're Fitz and Floyd. Let's see how damaged they are from the baggies. Hopefully they're not too bad, because those are the coolest. Look at them. Oh my gosh, please don't be. Fitz and Floyd has like a really... Um, really bad tendency of getting chipped and damaged but they actually look like despite being in these baggies and clanking together like they're okay and they're three dollars and fifty cents wow oh my gosh those are so much fun sweet i knew it would be worth looking through the christmas what i'm hoping to find is um another Christopher Radko ornament. I think that uh, Christopher Radko also makes Halloween ornaments. And if I recall, the Halloween ones are really good. I've seen them at auction before. I've never been able to touch them. Oh look, I'm throwing, I'm throwing baggies on the ground. Okay, I finally made it to the other side of the shelf. This is a wonderful book. I absolutely loved these books when I was a kid. That looks like a vintage sticker, and those look like vintage ornaments. $3.49. They have like this uh, wire wrap on the outside. I kind of like those. I may sell them. I may keep them. I'm not really sure yet. I never have too many ornaments. Um, I did pick this up. Uh, Andrew called me. I currently have him at Sephora <laughs> picking up some makeup for me. And I guess they don't have the makeup that I wanted, so um, he had to call. But this right here is Yankee Candle. I'm going to step aside and look it up real quick. Um, I know some of these Yankee Candle things can be worth money, so I'm going to look that up. But other than that, I kind of browse through. No, that's not. Let's see, is it Longer Burger? No, no, no. Um, I think I'm satisfied with the Christmas stuff, so um, let's put, push the cart over here and I'll look up the Yankee Candle thing. So I set this back because people were asking like 25 to 30 bucks for it. Um, and I looked down and I saw this and I saw the name on it, Fontanini Heirloom Nativity King's Tent. I opened it up and it's in there. And I think this could be good. Fontanini Nativity stuff. Ooh, yeah, it could be good. So I'm gonna stick it in my cart, it's $3.50. So for instance, here's this Fitz and Floyd figurine on the shelf and it is just covered in chips. Such a bummer. I don't know how I missed him earlier when I was digging through stuff here. So what are these? Are those for um, planters? I think you guys told me that before. I think those are to hold up planters or flower pots. Hmm. It's a souvenir piece, maybe? 
Okay. Cast iron wheelbarrow, it looks like. Kind of like the looks of that. Alright. Well, I think I've seen it all. And I think now I'm going to step to the side and review the contents of my cart. Okay, well I have reviewed my cart. I have checked over everything for chips and cracks, including the Fitz and Floyd. I think I've checked over it seven million times. Um, the Fontanini is still in the cart. It's down below along with the ornaments. Um, I checked over the glass pitcher and the glasses. Nothing has chips and cracks. Triple checked. Uh, but I do think I'm going to put the marquetry back. It is cool, but $6.50. I don't think. I don't think there's enough room there. So this is going back on the shelf. I think the rest is good. I think the rest is good. I think the kids will have a lot of fun with this book. I think the ornament will resell well. Um, I think Santa Claus can go in our booth. Um, and I think the sheep can go in our booth. So, I mean, I think, I think we're good with everything else. But, um, Magatri. I'm sorry, patriotic guy. You're going back on the shelf. Yeah, I didn't even this. see those. <laughs> those are awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely. Those are neat looking. You want both? Yeah, I'll okay. take both of them. Sure. Yeah, you thanks. Those are cool. Okay, well, that pretty much sums up our trip to the new Goodwill. I think that is the longest I have ever spent at the new Goodwill, and I had a good time. We spent some time digging through the Christmas, browsing the shelves, they brought out a new cart and started stocking. It was a good time, and I feel like I got some good stuff today. I mean, it was exciting because I found the anthropology vase, but then it was broken, so that kind of sucked. Uh, but the picture set, I mean, that could easily be 35 to 45 dollars at least and uh, the artwork I'm going to probably end up whisking that away to my booth the Radco ornament I'm not quite sure how much that's worth at the filming of this video but I know that's a good name so that could be worth something and the Fontanini um, tent again that could be something so I mean we got some good stuff today it's it's kind of I was pushed outside of my, my comfort zone which is the case oftentimes when I don't immediately start spotting stuff I start seeking stuff out and I have to do a little bit more research I have to stop and pause and look stuff up and and it helps it helps to expand my knowledge but anyway I am going to head out of here now and I'm going to move on to the next Goodwill and I will see all of you tomorrow so. I know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you